carpet was tucked underneath the baseboard and I couldn't rip it up, it was tearing the carpet. So I removed the baseboard so I hope I can get it off of the carpet tack now. The carpet tack is directly underneath this wall. It's supposed to be off of the wall and the carpet ends here, but it's underneath the wall. So I can't just rip the carpet up. Ah, oh, so frustrating. And it looks like I'm gonna have to remove the baseboard from the entire perimeter of the room so I can tear up this carpet. I should just be able to pull this carpet up and it come off the tack. But since the wall is over it, uh, this is even a different wall than I was showing you before, I have to pry it up. carpet should not be this difficult to remove and it should definitely not be installed underneath the wall or have a wall installed on top of it. Why did people do this? All right, well, I was afraid of this. The, car the carpet was laid down and then they built the bookshelves and the wall to the closet. There's no tack strip right here. This bookshelf is on top of the carpet. And the carpet runs, oh, there's a tack, nope, that's not a tack strip, that's a piece of wood to level the bookshelf. So I'm guessing that this wall is also on top of the carpet. This wall is probably on top of the carpet. Saul's carpet like this. We got this room. The carpet removed? Yeah, um, other than <laughs> the closet. Um, so, as I told you guys, and I told you off camera, <laughs> um, those walls were not really installed on top of the carpet, but the tack was kind of under the wall, so it's hard to get out. Mm -hmm. But these bookshelves are definitely installed over the carpet and I'm thinking probably the wall that divides this room and the closet is probably over the carpet. Yes. And we have to get all the mold and all the smell out. We're removing some bookshelves. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nothing's easy. Now this is going to be one of those projects. This house is going to be a project. Yep. So, I think what I want to do is now that we now that you got this room all cleaned out, we can start removing this carpet, mm -hmm. and that will be the last of the carpet. Yes. And that should help with the smell quite a bit. Yeah, I think the bathroom laminate is going to be a bad one. That's going to we're going to have to definitely wear masks. Yeah, and then the kitchen mm -hmm. laminate too. But yep. So let's get this carpet ripped up. Okay. You're making breakfast. I'm going to get started. Okay. I'll alert me when you're ready. Okay. Wish me luck. Good luck. Let's hope this carpet is not over the walls or under the walls. Under the, yeah, over the walls. <laughs> oh, over the walls, yeah. Goes up. My up dad on the did side. that. <laughs> really? Yeah, for uh, my dad's girlfriend had uh, a whole bunch of cats. And so what he did is he actually put carpets, he took um, remnants 
mm -hmm. and cut them into diamonds and did an entire wall feature for the cats so, the cats so they could scratch, scratch on, on oh it gosh. like a huge living <laughs> scratch post <laughs> yep it's pretty oh awesome yeah. it's all you cat lovers out there <laughs> okay i'm gonna start ripping up this carpet all right yay here we go the, <laughs> the <laughs> yeah this <laughs> The floor. The floor is so bad. I feel like I'm <laughs> Yeah, it's really bad. Because now that the um, basement is starting to dry out, um, all of the floor joists are starting to warp. and Because all the moisture is coming out of correct. them. Correct, yeah. Yep. Oh, yep. Interesting times. Yeah, you can see how that's twisting up there. and then. Yep. Oh, boy. Okay, let's carpet. Carpet, carpet, carpet. I started tearing out the carpet and then had a thought. Um, the previous owner bought this house in the 2000s, mm -hmm. which means that he probably put this carpet in probably pretty shortly thereafter. Um, so most likely the glue that is used, because uh, this carpet is glued to the subfloor, um, doesn't have asbestos in it, but we're being careful just in case. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull the carpet up. Katie's going to use um, just a little sprayer here. It's just water because if there is asbestos, which again, we don't think there is, um, the, what you want to do is keep it from getting airborne. And so by spraying with some water, it won't get airborne. And then we actually ran to the store and we bought some paint, some primer paint and or some primer. Some kills. <laughs> yeah, and what we're gonna do is Katie's gonna paint the floor while I work on another project. So that way, once the floor is taken up and that glue is exposed, again, if it does contain asbestos, painting it will keep it from um, coming going up, airborne. going airborne when we walk on it. So we're just being precautious. We don't think that there is because, again, he bought this thing, I think because asbestos stopped being used in adhesives in the early 1990s but you never know so we're <laughs> going to be we're going to be cautious and then i think we'll go ahead and bag up this carpet and uh, have the uh, trash company dispose of it um, however they need to yep okay <laughs>
room for? <sighs> I'm too exhausted for that. Oh, okay. We're just gonna. Just we're just gonna say. Out? We're just gonna say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> What is that, two, three days of pulling up carpet and? Yep. Oh, that got real dark. Oh, what happened? Come on in closer. Is that better? <laughs> there we go. Here, that, oh, oh. 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 Here, let's, oh. Let's scoot it back. Let's be back here. Let's be in the light. There we go. Look, we're in the light. Okay, yeah, I'm tired. We pulled up all the carpet. There's one small sec. No, we didn't. The closet. Closet. Dang it. Yeah, there's a small section of the closet, and there's some pad in the uh, hallway. Hallway, man. I can go I get the pad. Really I don't want to think about that. Let's not think about it. We still have linoleum, mm -hmm. so we have the kitchen and both bathrooms uh -huh. still to pull up. And then underneath the walls. <laughs> yeah, we have to figure out whether we're going to remove bookshelves or. We are or parts of a wall or entire walls. Yeah, So, like I pointed out in the, the wall, in the hallway, we think it's over the carpet. So tomorrow, what I'm gonna do is uh, cut a hole in the bottom of the wall and kind of look inside to see, see what we're working with. Mm -hmm. um, and you get to go back to work tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> so, we're gonna do some I'll do some day work, more of this, and then we'll do some evening work, yep. getting more stuff in the dumpster. Because you started with the uh, carport storage yep. yesterday. Yep, started cleaning out the carport a little bit and just trying to, we've been cleaning out the crawl space, we've been getting the carpet and cleaning out the carport, just trying to make sure that we are utilizing the dumpster Mm -hmm. Since we have it here, yeah, the crawl, anything the that, crawl space junk pile. The mean. junk pile, yes. Right. Everything that you pulled out of it before you right. started your mediation. Right. Yep. Whew. Winston. Okay. I'm done. Let's go shower. I'm gonna go shower. Okay. I stinky. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>